the oil you eat can have a profound impact on the health of your skin, your body and how quickly you age well. My name is Dr. Nargis and I am known as pharmacist and toxicolog. I try to give health skin and body tips to health conscious people to look their best. Olive oil is 100% oil. There is nothing else in it. In the mixture of a cake we eat, there is only 10% fat. So is olive oil with 100% fat or cake with 10% fat harmful to our health? Of course, while olive oil is good for you, cake is not good for you. So why? So it's not the amount of fat we eat, but the type that matters. Some fats do not increase weight, cholesterol or the risk of heart disease. In fact, oils such as omega-3 have miracles benefits. We will talk about omega trees in detail, but before we talk about it, what is oil? Let's take a look at its basic structure. Today I'm gonna go over with omega-3 fatty acids. Let's take a look at its basic structure. Fats are made up of molecules called triglycerides. Triglyceride is an ester of glycerol and three fatty acids. The fatty acid part determines whether an oil will be solid or liquid, whether it will degrade quickly, and most importantly, how good or bad it will be for you. Let's take a look at some of the differences in fatty acid. One of them is length. Fatty acids can be short or long. Another more important difference is the type of bond between the carbon atoms. Some fatty acids contain only one bond. Others contain both single and double bonds. Fatty acids containing only one bond are called saturated fat and those containing one or more double bonds are called unsaturated fats. While most unsaturated fats are good for you, saturated fats are extremely harmful. Vegetable-derived olive oil is unsaturated fat. It contains 100% oil. Butter, which is an animal fat, is the saturated fat group. There are also cis and trans fats. These are isomers for fats. Trans fats are fats formed by the hydrogenation of unsaturated fats. These are the category of oils you should stay away from. For example, margarines. Consumption of trans fats increases the risk of heart disease as they increase the level of LDL cholesterol, which we know as bad cholesterol, and reduce the level of HDL cholesterol, which we know as good cholesterol. After taking a look at the basic structure of oils, let's come to omega-3s. Omega-3s are one of the family of fat molecules. Omega-3 fatty acids are an extremely important food group for our health. They are usually found in animal foods. I said that the fats found in animal foods, such as butter, are saturated fats. Unsaturated fats, such as olive oil, found in plants are already in the beneficial fat group. However, perhaps what makes omega-3 special and different is that they are unsaturated fatty acids even though they are found in animal sources. We also call this group of fatty acids essential fatty acids. We cannot produce essential fatty acids like essential amino acids, although they are very necessary for our body. That's why we have to take it outside. There are dozens of omega-3 fatty acids, but the most well-known are APA, DHA, ALA. APA and DHA omega fatty acids are all animal origin. They are mostly found in fish. ALA is of vegetable origin. The richest sources of omega-3 in terms of APA and DHA are natural salmon, mackerel, tuna, bonito, horse mackerel, and anchovy. Some of the plant-based ALA can be converted into EPA and DHA in the body after ingestion. Nuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, porcelain, broccoli, spinach, and olive oil are rich in ELA. Animal-derived omega-3s are superior to plant-based ones in terms of health. 
However, the superiority of foods with plant-based omega-3 is the presence of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants in these foods. For this reason, it will be healthiest way to take food containing animal and vegetable omega-3 together like Mediterranean style diet. Omega-3s are triglycerides. They reduce harmful fat and cholesterol in the blood. It is anti-inflammatory, that is, it causes disease in the heart, veins and joints. They rectify the inflammatory condition. Omega-3 molecules are a shock absorber against inflammation in our body. They balance pro-inflammatory omega-6 molecules to prevent inflammation from occurring. Studies have found that omega-3 molecules form building blocks for new metabolites that can stop ongoing inflammation. Omega-3s prevent heart arrhythmia. They are protective in cardiovascular diseases. They are mild blood pressure reducers. They are mild blood thinners. They provide protection against Alzheimer's and dementia. They are the fuel for brain cells for children, students, and the elderly. Again, they are good for depression. They provide 50% protection against some cancers such as colon cancer and breast cancer. They are useful for hyperactivity and attention deficit in children. Besides, omega-3 molecules form part of the cell membrane and help regulate the passage of nutrition and waste products into and out of the cell. It is also induced signals between cells by providing structure and connectivity to cell membrane receptors. Imagine what would happen if you don't regularly consume enough omega-3s. By hardening the cell membrane, the entry of nutrition into the cell and the removal of waste products will be delayed. According to a Howard study, omega-3 deficiency can lead to 96,000 deaths each year. You can help keep your eyes healthy by taking omega-3s. It has been scientifically proven that omega-3 helps in improving the vision problem by supporting the healthy lubrication of the retina. Getting omega-3s through your diet is also very beneficial for hair, scalp, and nail health. In addition, it has been determined that linolenic acid is good for acne. Omega-3 can also increase the chances of conception simply by improving the quality of sperm. It would not be an exaggeration to say that omega-3, which we get from our diet, is a panacea. If we don't have time to eat healthy, if we take omega-3 supplements, which is the most practical way, wouldn't the same effect occur? If you are asking such a question, let's look at the answer to this question together. Scientific studies have shown that omega-3 is taken in the form of tablets or other supplements, not from foods, cannot give all of these benefits we have mentioned. According to a study conducted on 1680, people published by the Journal of Lancet in 2017, there was no difference in the prevention of cognitive decline between people who took long-term omega-3 supplements and those who did not take placebo. In another study, it was seen that consuming fish rich in vitamin A, palmitated and omega-3 slowed down the eye disease called retinitis. Eye disease called retinitis pigmentosa. So why this contradiction? Why omega-3 taken as a supplement in tablets does not prevent disease formation? Why does omega-3 taken from fish slow down the diseases? My personal opinion, when it comes to nutrition, the natural is beautiful and beneficial. For this reason, while giving a substance alone does not meet the expected benefit, it may be more beneficial to take it from foods in combination with other foods. As I mentioned in my previous food supplement videos, it is not a bright idea to take supplements and supplements from outside while the nutrition are stopped. In other words, eating fish two or three times a week is a far superior to taking omega-3 supplements. However, if you say you don't have time for these 1000 mg per day, you take you can take the form of tablets or capsules containing omega-3. 
Be sure to buy the product by reading the content and make omega-3 consumption a habit. It should contain EPA, DHA and ELA I just mentioned. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel for so much more great information. Check out these videos. Thank you so much. Stay healthy.